Hello YouTube, Gamer Dad here. This will be video number eight in our Pong tutorial series. It is Christmas Eve and I'm trying to get this out before I gotta do some family stuff. Uh, I also won't be getting anything out tomorrow because obviously it is Christmas Day and I have more family stuff to do. So uh, I just want to say first of all, everyone have a Merry Christmas. Um, I'm gonna try and get this uploaded tonight so it'll be out tonight. I definitely won't be having anything out tomorrow because of my schedule. but. Uh, with that, let's try and make this a quick video. It's going to be the ball to the paddle collision, and uh, let's do it. So the game one that CS, uh, we're going to create our our uh, boolean uh, functions down here, under in underneath our input function for our player input, and we'll comment that first. So it'll be collision of ball to paddle one. So let me get my notes out here. So it's going to be a public bool. We're just going to call it colliding with paddle one. So it's going to be a long if statement. Just it's a basic box collision, box collision type theory. So we're going to do that. If ball dot position dot y is greater than or equal to p one dot position dot y and ball dot position dot x is greater than p1 dot position dot x and ball dot position dot x is less than p1 dot position dot x plus p1 dot width and ball dot position dot y is less than p1 dot position dot y plus p1 dot height. Yes, that is very long, but it's just like any uh, other basic box collision function, sim simple box collision function. So if that happens, we want to return true. Else, let's a second here. Miskeyed somewhere. else we're going to return false. So that's the far paddle one to the ball collision and we can just copy this to save some time and we'll do the player two paddle to ball collision paste it change your comments and it will be colliding with paddle two basically all you need to do is change the p1s to p2s so go along your line here. And change the rest of them. And that should do it. So these are, nothing's going to happen now. It's still going to go through the paddles. All this is doing is setting up our functions, which determines whether or not the ball is colliding with it. And if it is colliding with the paddle, then it is going to return true. So where we need to go next is to our update function. And we need to tell it what it's going to do once it's colliding, once it returns true. So if ball colliding with paddle one. So if colliding with paddle one. and if the ball is moving down and left then ball moving down and left equals false and ball moving moving down and right equals true and for the next one, it's else if ball is moving up and left, then ball that moving up and left equals false. 
and ball moving up and right equals true. So we should have this all set up for our let's just run this now build and run make sure we got this r correct and then we can do the paddle 2 so let's see if we have collision with paddle 1 first and it is laggy because I am um, recording this video but it should be fluid on your screen okay we have collision with paddle 1 make sure it comes down and off correctly alright so we can do the same for colliding with 2 if a ball colliding with paddle 2 so if colliding with paddle 2 then and if the ball dot moving down right then ball moving down right equals false and ball moving down left equals true. Else, we'll go up here just to kind of keep what we're doing. Else, if ball is moving up and right, and the ball moving up and right would be false, and ball moving up and left equals true. So we have both updates. We're telling you what uh, later on when we actually it'll be the next video uh, when we add sound we're gonna be adding our, our blip sound effect within here too uh, so that when a ball when it does determine that it's colliding with the paddle it'll play the blip sound as well. So let's build this and run. Let's see if we have collision for both paddles. Okay we have paddle two Pedal one. Pedal two, pedal one. All right, we're looking good. Basically, they'll score points when uh, when you miss it. When it hits the far right wall, that's how we'll set up our scoring system. That's how the, the person will score a point. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I'll try and, actually, I will. I'll upload it tonight. And uh, you'll probably see the next video uh, midweek or later in the week, which will be our sound. And if there's enough time in that video, we'll add uh, our score system with the text displayed on the screen. And uh, until then, I'll see you next time. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And everyone have a Merry Christmas, all right? Till next time, bye.